Hello there, YouTube. And welcome to a 70, jeez, it's already 74 degrees on a Tuesday, the 9th of July. It's supposed to be a degree or two warmer today than it was yesterday. It got pretty dead gum hot yesterday. But um, it's that time of year. It's the heat you get. It's, it seems like since I went on a trip, I've been in the heat since I left. So it's um, already at that point, it's no big deal. It was a shocker when I took off on that trip and I was humming down the highway at 101 and 102. That first one to hit you over the year, that uh, kind of freaks you out. Especially when you're used to, I mean, our highs were in the, in the upper 50s. Just summer came all at once. But it does that sometimes around here. But it's beautiful, very comfortable out here right now. Gonna go to work. Got a job to do. <laughs> Y'all come on along. 85 degrees, not a cloud in the sky. This it's one here is. It's gonna be a hot one here today. Yep. And then it'll be in the upper 80s tomorrow. So I know, and then they'll all be freezing. Yeah, they'll be. They'll feel nice and cool. Mm-hmm. Mom, we made it Tuesday. We did. So let's go in there and bust it out. Right. I got spider stuff to do today. Papa's got projects. Yeah, got some projects. Projects are nice. I yeah. Like All right, Mom. All right. Well, I'll I hope you have go. a wonderful day, and I'll you see. Too? I'll see you as the day goes on. All right. All right. Hello. Just see you. Bye. I love you. Huh? Bye. 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 Now. See, you never got any further with that than last night. I think that's how I ended the vlog at work. So for all you guys with 2024 um, Can-Am Spiders, doesn't matter which model, they all have the the new um, TFT display and the ability to use CarPlay. CarPlay play is officially out. You can do it at home. You have to have a connection to Wi-Fi. Um, you can actually play a little trick if you got a buddy, you got to have your, you know, phone uh, paired to the bike. And um, if you got a buddy with an Android or Apple phone and still their hotspot, got a good enough connection, hopefully, um, you can trick the system into thinking you're connected to Wi-Fi. But you got to use your phone and hotspot somebody else's phone. I just hotspot one of my other phones if I needed to. But um, I can get Wi-Fi down here, but... Anyway, you can do it at home. It, there's still that rule. It needs to be at 12.6 volt to perform the update, which takes about a three amp charger. Not a maintainer like the Optimates and stuff like that. Those are only like 0.8 of an amp. They're, uh, they can work as a charger, but very slowly. They are a maintainer to keep your battery alive and kicking. It will charge the battery. It just takes a long time if you got low battery. But I'm hearing reports that you can actually start the vehicle and let it sit there and idle. And, well, holy sake, please, if you're in your garage, open the door. Don't sit there with your spider running in your shop where you're close to your house and you get Wi-Fi. But reports are you can let it sit there and idle, which obviously is going to bring it over 12.6 volts. And um, you can flash the update. Do this yourself at home. But you need to, got all the rules have to be there, you know, for it to work. The phone has to be connected to a, uh, um, a, an Apple cord, no longer than three feet, or an Apple approved cord, because it has to have the, the data that the Apple, because a lot of cords are just <laughs> simply charging cords. They don't, can't transfer data anyway. Um, I would say Belkin, because if you go into an Apple store, Apple sells Belkin stuff, and I've had great success with that. And so, But it can't be over three feet long and cause communication problems. Your Bluetooth headset or whatever you're using has to be USB 5 or a Bluetooth 5 or higher, or you could have communication problems. But, yeah, it's, uh, it's available right now. Get your bike to, or you can take it to a dealer. You know, we can do it here, do it with the flash. Or you can just do it over Wi-Fi at home. But if you do the trick with it running, please have the thing 
door open, fan blowing, whatever. Don't suffocate yourself in your garage. What happened to old Joe? Well, he was updating a spider and had it run in his garage. And we found him out there later. <laughs> it's no joke, though. Really. That's serious business. Carbon monoxide poisoning is a, a serious, serious business. But, um, anyway, I thought I'd give you guys that little piece of tidbit of information that we've been waiting for way, way, way too long. So, um, yeah, I love, love good news. But, um, anyway, I gotta go upstairs for a couple things. And I just, I was looking at the forum. And, um, actually there's several people complaining about when the... You know, it's been almost a year since it was announced that they that they were going to have Apple CarPlay on the new Spiders. And where's the update? Blah, blah, blah. And Eric at uh, BRP goes, happy to announce. It's available. So uh, I've uh, downloaded the Bolton. I'll go tell the, the boys and girls and whoever needs to know upstairs. And say, so, uh, yeah, you got Apple CarPlay now. It works. And they can do it at home. They don't have to bring it in here. You don't have to schedule nothing. Just have to have Wi-Fi and 12.6 volts. I will confirm. I will snag a spider somewhere and flash it here. I, I will confirm that um, whether or not the, the idling. So for, these are dealers. This is part of the dealer form. These aren't just, you know, Billy Bob sitting, you know, 45, 50 years old living in his mom's basement. You know, the Internet keyboard warrior. These are, it's a dealer forum. You have to be logged in with BRP to get on and speak on this forum. So, and several people have said it's worked. To just let the bike idle, there's your charger. That'd be nice. You don't have to pull the battery door off. You know, the most of them are limited. So they got the carpet inside there, unzip the carpet, unbolt the board, get your charger hooked up. That'd be nice, really nice. All right, how about that for some good news? I love it. So I... I had an alignment to do at the end of the day and I wouldn't get it done before the end of the day. So instead of getting my stuff messed up because I don't know who's here before I get here, I don't want, if they touch the spider, I'm in trouble. So instead of having to start over, I decided to just, you know, bail out of it. So I got the first part of the recall done and now this plate is being installed for the for the lock set. I think it's installed anyway. Actually, it's upside. Oh, that was right. It was like that. But anyway, uh, that bracket, some reinforcement bracket. I guess I could see where if that thing moved in, it could the plunger could pop out. And I think that's probably what's going on. The oh, the plunger could pop out of there. So this is going to ride behind that that motor and it's going to ride that plate it's going to be bolted down and this won't be able to rock inward that's what that's what my thinking is they don't tell us all the details of why things are going on all i know is that they could come potentially unattached so everything's related to uh, reinforcing stuff and um it looks like you're getting a second set of of screws but they're actually longer than what you're taking out so you gotta make sure you put all those back so one bag is enough for or one kit is enough for two um two bags and i need to throw i borrowed one of the holders out of there because that was working better and uh after i do another one i'll just keep the both of those as a tool in case i need to work on them later on but uh so this will do two bags this will do two bags so i'm taking it only one of the hinges gets replaced i haven't got to where i was putting the actually i was but i didn't want to lay it face down while i'm doing this so it's, it's just the open end of the bag sitting on the the shop cloth here so anyway kind of tricky a lot of little plug-ins a little ink intricate little things oh t10 torques on those things and every one of those screws i think is uh, literally every one is a different length look at that ever so slightly they're a different length 
so I kept track of them. And it does have a little cheat sheet thing in the um, bulletin. But I started with the uh, with the right bag, and all the instructions seem to be for the left. So you got to, it's like that looking in a mirror and trying to do something kind of a deal. <laughs> so, yeah, I these hinges look the same. I, I Like I say, I just skipped that part of, of putting the, the lid back on to uh, go ahead and do the second part of the of the bulletin that's cool i got enough stuff because there's two we've got enough to do four motorcycles two sets of bags left and right and you know there's like the brackets and stuff this this can be inverted you know the hooks back can be left or right but there's definitely a left and right to um this electrical part of it it's called the central locking kit whatever the recall is called so it was kind of tight there so i just pulled that cable out because man i couldn't just i just couldn't get to all the stuff inside there so i just popped her out of the way and trying not to bow or bend anything too far and um yeah i'll get that done in the morning it's, it's towards the end of the day so i just thought i'd say a quick hey here this pays like 2.1 hours unusually long i think that's what it works out to be there's multiple frues or you know flat rate units so i'll get it all sorted out but i had a break i thought i'd tear back into the bag but i got interrupted as usual and didn't get the bag done so now it's a carryover <laughs> till tomorrow and i got a busy day tomorrow too so um, is that tomorrow? No, Friday. Friday, I got a, a Kawasaki and a Spider do a Kawasaki for service. On one of those cool 900s. Love those little 900s. But uh, anyway, we'll roll from here. Oh, holy! 100 degrees out here again today. Right at it. One zero zero. So I start up the car, you know, with my phone. And uh, the cabin temperature was 118. I think that's what it was yesterday too, but that's hot. It's funny is, uh, you know, until we take a little bit of back roads to get to the freeway, just avoiding, you know, major on ramps and stuff. And uh, there it's not until we get to 205 that it finally calms down. That thing's running wide open, the seat, air conditioning is wide open it's in recirculate and it just i have an auto so it just reacts to whatever that thing is blasting it's very nice cool here all right we're out again hope i was pointing the camera at anything <laughs> let's get mount hood over here she's probably looking hot out there i don't think i can see it from here eh, no sorry about that Take them birds, because they're up there eating all the cherry trees, or cherries out of the cherry trees. And uh, they're, uh, yeah, making a mess out of the table and chairs and stuff. <laughs> animals will be animals. But it's a really comfortable 89 degrees out here now. The breeze going. Feels nice. Feels like zero humidity, which is always really nice. I thought I'd come out and just say, see, it's like I seen the temperature because it was at one point it was 103 degrees coming home. Isn't that crazy? Man, that's hot. You know, I told you about Cable doing his BDR thing from Mexico to Canada. Um, he's been posting stuff on, on his Facebook page and also on uh, Pro Caliber Motorsports TikTok page. If you guys want to. Probably the easiest one for you to find is the Pro Caliber uh, Motorsports. Uh, you'll see Cable, in fact, like the last, I don't know, 12 or more videos on their page is, is Cable. So he's just posting right to their TikTok. Pretty wild, the heat and stuff he's going through. Um, I think he said yesterday or whatever, it was 119 at one point. Today, it's 117 degrees. Out in the desert, in the middle of nowhere, 
it's having issues with, you know, um, you know, animals and the heat, of course, tire problems and crazy things driving at night trying to escape the heat. But uh, I'll, I'll let him do all the talking there. That'd be cool. Go go check out. Search for Pro Caliber Motorsports on TikTok. You'll see the uh, the logo. It, it kind of looks like the one that's on my shirt all the time. I don't have my uniform on now, but you guys know the Pro Caliber look. If you guys checked it out, that logo's it's kind of been updated, but I think it's been around for quite some time now. Twenty. Well, 21, almost 21 years that, that we've been part of it. And then it was uh, privately owned. It was a shop in downtown Vancouver that was under the name. And uh, the shop I was working for, who's now the owner, was uh, Longview Motorsports. And uh, the Dick Hanna Group got together and, and bought um, the name Pro Caliber and course they got his franchise for i think he had polaris and something else and um, then we added everything else to it but uh interesting stuff anyway this is a little small chit chat i was out here had had the camera with me i thought i'm just gonna talk to the peeps for a moment or two probably make me run overtime i don't know i didn't pay attention to what i even recorded today but uh yeah beautiful crazy check out Cable's his name with a K. And uh, cool stuff. Tells stories really well, too. That's wild. All right. Well, hello there, you two. And it's like 85 out here now. And it actually feels fantastic. Feels wonderful. Yeah. Three or four weeks ago, 85 degrees, you'd be going, oh, it's terrible. That's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy how quick you get used to the heat. You just don't even think about it anymore. Nuts. But, uh, anyway, it's a hot day at work. Definitely another hot day at work. Hot ride home. and It was just a hot day. Yes, it was. And, um, but tomorrow's going to be... Cooler. Yeah, like almost 10 degrees cooler. It's so nice. Yeah. And this weekend, like Saturday's supposed to be 84. Sunday's supposed to be 82. Yeah. Pure sunshine. That'd be nice. Yeah, it's going to feel real good. Mm-hmm. I don't feel like fall. <laughs> I have to get out there and do some riding. Mm -hmm. But uh, anyway, busy day at work. I think you were busy too, weren't you? Mm hmm. I come up, you seem to be busy. I'm always doing something. I think I was only up there twice the whole day. Yeah. But uh, I was busy. But uh, anyway, I think we'll conclude it at that. All and, uh, right. Bail out on you. <laughs> Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Wednesday or Thursday. Heck yeah. All right. Back to it tomorrow morning. Yeah, we see you in the morning. See you then. Thanks for watching now. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.